Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna give you seven fishing hacks in under five minutes, so stay tuned. Let's go. Spotted bay bass trick. If you touch their belly, their spine will come up, see? So you get some good pictures with all with the, with the fish fully puffed up. Trick. I probably should be doing this one indoors, but here it goes. Fishing from shore and you cast between some boats and you end up making your lure over a dock line like this. Your initial response, if you're new to this, might be to pull it over slowly so you can clear the, uh, the rope and you end up getting stuck. The way you handle these types of tangles or potential tangles, so over the dock line and instead of panicking and trying to do it slowly like this, you get it stuck. You give it some slack, you pump it a little bit like if you're swinging the swing, there it goes. Pumping it and then it's swinging back and forth. Now that it's swinging, you swing on the back swing, you pull it and you jump over the whole thing and you're out of the dock line. This is a trick I learned from Kerry Peeler. He's the one that, he's the guy that came over and showed us how to clean our reel. He used to make swim jigs. I got a couple of jig hits from him, swim jigs. The package includes a zip tie. What the zip tie is for is it protects the rubber band that holds the skirt in place from the bass's teeth. The fish will eventually bite through that rubber band and cut it off and then all of the skirt falls apart. You don't put it over the skirt. You move the skirt out of the way like this on both sides so the rubber band is exposed and then you zip tie the zip tie right on the right on the rubber band. See? Another good hack with the zip tie and old split ring is to make a a hook holder. I prefer the little hook guide to be back here towards the front and then put it around the rod where I want the new hook guide to be. There it is, now it's in front. You clean the fish or you've been handling fish all day and you wash your hands and your hands still kind of smell like fish. Wash your hands so you get as much of the stink off as you can. There's still going to be a little bit of stink left. Uh, what you do next is use the stainless steel hopefully in your sink. If you don't have a sink that, has, that is stainless steel they sell a little stainless steel that's in the shape of a bar of soap. You can get it and it does the same thing. Basically, you just want to touch stainless steel. And what that does is it makes your hands smell kind of like the stainless steel instead of the fish. And it covers the smell slash makes it go away. This is a tight chart. It goes, here's the time here and here's the feet. This is the tide going, coming down, slack tide. High tide. I found that the best time to fish in the in the bay, in Mission Bay, is when, and I think this probably works on in most bays, is when the current is at its highest. It seems like that's when the fish are most active. And of course, there's other things that you have to consider, like uh, time of day and visibility and all that stuff. But this is kind of a one of my main ones I rely on because usually when it's when it's high current, the fish are out trying to get the bait fish that are getting caught up in the current. So. Uh, the way I break it down is it's like this. You take whatever tide you're on and you divide it into four sections. So we'll just go from the top one, two, three, four. When it's this close to slack tide, the current is not as strong as it is once it really gets going when it gets to the, to the middle section here. The first quarter, you kind of don't want to fish that. You kind of might want to like be in transit getting ready to get out there. Second and third quarter, you want to fish those. That's probably going to be the best current. And it depends on how big the tide shift is, how long those two, those two phases will last. And then the last quarter, it's when it starts to slow down again to go back to slack. So that's usually when the, when the bite dies off. In this case, if I was going to start fishing, the best fishing would probably start at 5 p.m. right here. So I would leave my house like around, I don't know, 3 and get there and set up my kayak, get in the water, and then be out in the fishing zone by, 3 p by 5 p.m. And I know there's gonna be a good bite between 5 p.m. and like about seven. And this is a good chart because not only will I have some good current at this hour, but I'm also gonna be having the sun setting too, so it's gonna be a nice bite at, the, at that point. This is just a ballpark to give you guys a clue of like a better time to fish. So you probably wouldn't wanna fish between eight and 11 in this chart. Um, you could probably do other things like take a break or do some rigging or something. It's not as important. But here is when you want to fish. So 6 to 8 and 12 to about 3. 
If you gained anything from this video, do me one favor and please share it with at least one other person. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe so you can don't miss out on future videos. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome. My name is Roma Castro. I do a bunch of videos, including a bunch of fishing videos. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit that like button if you liked, if you liked or you learned anything in this video. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.